There is a bunch of words that should never appear on your resume. If you get lucky and pass the ATS system, the moment recruiters or hiring managers see these words on the resume, they will instantly discard it. Let's see what these cliche and jargon words are. Responsible for. Well, instead of just listing your responsibilities, list the active words of what you've actually done. You weren't responsible for leading a committee, you led a committee. Innovative. It's clearly overused and it always lacks evidence. Instead, show achievements that demonstrate how innovative you were. World class. Well, this is vague and self-defined. How do you actually qualify world class? Instead, what you can do is demonstrate a known project that you've worked on that has been recognized as world class by those in your industry. Unless you're an Olympic champion. Next, driven. It's very generic and it's lacking like specificity. Instead, what you can do is you can show your drive by showing how you've gone above and beyond in your role. And same for dynamic. It's often vague and lacking substance. Extensive experience. Time spent isn't as crucial as achievements. Show, don't tell. Let your achievements speak for your experience. Results oriented. This is expected rather than impressive. Every candidate is expected to have this trait. It's not something special. Show your results on your resume instead. How about motivated? This is a basic expectation for every candidate. And it's pretty much the same for driven and dynamic that we've just covered. Isn't it why you're looking for a job? Because you're motivated? Very motivated to look for a job. <laughs> and to earn money. How about detail-oriented? Everyone's favorite. Coming back to self-descriptions. You're describing your own qualities, and that doesn't matter that much. Let numbers stand on their own and speak for themselves, talking about your attention to detail. For instance, if your resume has no typos or spelling errors, that helps prove that you're detail-oriented. Creative. That's also overused. How about you demonstrate your creativity through your accomplishments and results? And same goes for think outside of the box. Track record. Impressive results speak louder than the term. Show your impact. Show your achievements. Oh, how about this one? Guru or ninja or master. Well, these are all self-proclaimed titles. Let others or your achievements describe you. Don't describe yourself. It doesn't look great on you. Passionate. Well, everyone says they're passionate, and most employers assume by default that you're passionate about the work that you do. If you are applying for this job, you better be passionate, and this is something that you will depict in your cover letter, and this is something that you will be drilled about during job interview. Again, show, don't tell. What about unique? It's self-proclaimed. Focus on being better, not just different in the job market. Always make sure to quantify and qualify it. What is it specifically that makes you unique? Just saying that unique means nothing. So how about using these terms like really, very, extremely, fantastic? Those are overly modified terms and they lose impact with time. Choose more specific definitions and add numbers to demonstrate impact. By the way, if you're losing track of all these words, Make sure to check out the article that we've published that lists all of these words to avoid and more. And subscribe to our Career Deck newsletter for more career tips. Let's keep going. Strategic. Generic. Be specific about strategic decisions and impact rather than just claiming strategy. What about collaborative? Describe the collaborative process rather than just claiming collaboration. And the same goes for team player, really. In fact, every candidate is expected to work well in the team. So nothing special here. How about hardworking? 
that's yet again another expectation of every employer. If you're applying to a job, you better be hardworking. And if you really want to highlight the quality of yours, demonstrate it through achievements, show in your resume how you've gone above and beyond and you've done something that you weren't even asked to do. That's hardworking. How about enthusiastic? So that's one of the words that's most commonly used by newcomers or students. It still feels generic without concrete examples. And because it's overused by fresh graduates or people who are eager to get in the job market, using these words often assumes that you lack experience. How about excellent communicator? It's self-proclaimed and how about you show, don't tell. Show communication effectiveness through examples. Like you resolved a conflict situation, what the situation was about and what you did. How about proactive? Well, it's very similar to driven and motivated, and this is a very basic expectation. All right, so this one is something I really see in like nine out of 10 resumes I typically tend to receive from either fresh graduates or newcomers to Canada. References available upon request. In Canada, it's assumed that if you're asked to provide references, you will give them. So this phrase just takes up space in your resume. You may have probably noticed that most of our comments lean towards actionability. So show, don't tell. Instead of saying that you think outside the box, say that you designed and launched a marketing campaign targeting small niche businesses, generating an increase in monthly revenue by 30%. Remember, Given concrete examples of your accomplishments while avoiding cliches, buzzwords, and filler words will make you stand out among other candidates who have not watched this video. If this video was helpful to you, gently tap the like button and share it with a friend who's looking for a job. And make sure to subscribe to this channel not to miss more practical tips on how to arrive, excel, and most importantly, thrive in Canada. Make sure to check the links below this video, especially that article that lists all the words to avoid with examples. Take care.